Hi, welcome to How to d and My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about the 5th edition Spellbook phone app. You can get it on Android. I don't know about iPhone, but I know you can definitely get it on an Android smartphone. So, I'm going to cover this really quickly. My players tend to use this particular app. It has a couple of options available. One, you can access all of the spells you would normally find in the player's handbook. Carting the player's handbook around can be a little bit heavy sometimes, so I know a few of my players, they have their spells on their, their phone, so they can access them fairly quickly rather than flipping through pages. Um, so it has a couple of options, you can create your own spell book, and I have already a character built which I'll show you how to do very shortly, um, or you can access all the spells and you can use the filters to actually determine exactly what you want. Now one of the things I will say about this particular app is it's not completely accurate. Some of the transfer of information from the player's handbook into this app is not exactly the same. So sometimes you'll get a spell, uh, you'll read through it and the description, it's not so much things like casting time, range, duration and components that are an issue, but it is the description itself. Sometimes it's not worded correctly or there are spelling mistakes or the, the words are sort of mashed together. Uh, there's a section for adding notes on your spells if you want but I'm not going to worry about doing that, and you can save it if you want, but let's get rid of that. You can also add the spell to your spell book, so if you have a character built, you can add it to your spell book just by pressing add, and I say yes, add me. Okay, so I've done it, I've added it. Um, I'll just go back so you can see. Uh, it has a couple of filters on it, so you can actually access the different uh, spells you might want. So show filters, and you can determine the class, so I want wizard. I can pick my wizard. It covers all the different classes. So wizard gives me all the wizard spells. I can determine the level. So I might say, okay, look, I'll just give me all the level one spells. And I can go through, select the one that I want. And then uh, once I've seen the spell, I can like, okay, it's time to add that. And yes, add it to my spell book. Um, it will manage and um, you can accurately record what you have prepared for the day. Um, using this app, so that's very handy. So I'll just go back and show you here uh, Spellbook and pick up my my uh, my wizard and it would show me hopefully all of my spells. I have I have Spellbook, there we go, there it is. There are my spells. I have one spell saved in Detect Magic and you can just build your Spellbook from there. Uh, going back here again Let's have a look. If I want to create another character with a different spellbook, I can keep multiple characters. Just go to the option here, type in the name. I'm going to type in, I don't know, um, Fig. And I want to make it, a, say, a dwarf. You can select the race that you want. So we'll keep a dwarf, say. And we're going to create a paladin. And you can select the oath. So it breaks all that up. So let's go vengeance. And level, level one. Uh, I can select the color for um, for when it shows up on my phone. I'm going to pick a, a dark, dark, um, dark red, almost a dark red brown. Uh, then I can sort out my spell casting ability modifier. Just select here, and my spell casting modifier. Let's say it's probably more likely a three. So we just scroll in and set it as three. Uh, my proficiency bonus. So it's level one character. It's going to be. Let's go up to two. Oops, too far. Pick one. Set that. And it calculates my spell saving DC or difficulty class for my spells and my spell attack. Once that's done, I can then press the save button. And then when I'm ready, I can go back. If I want to edit it and change anything as it levels up, I can. Uh, you just change what you want. So maybe you go up uh, to four and reset it and it changes everything for you. And once I've done that, just save again. If I want to add something to the spell book, well, all I'm going to do is go here, select the spells that I want. So I don't want all the spells, I just want what I need. So I'm going to sort it by filter. So let's go for my class, it's a paladin, so paladin spells. And okay, so now that I've done that, I just want, I just want bless. Give me bless. I want to add that. 
and I'm going to put it into Fig, not Geronimo, because it's the Paladin I want, and OK, and it's done. So I find this app um, a really simple and um, clever tool. Um, I'm not always happy with some of the descriptions, and it has created a few battles with me and my players when they use it, but I do see the, uh, the benefits of actually um, using it. Uh, one of the things I have noticed is you can't actually edit the description. Um, so you need to provide feedback to actually get this um, sorted out. M&M Apps has created it, so you need to give them feedback when there's an error so they can change it. If you found this uh, video helpful or informative, please share, like, and subscribe. Look, make a comment below if you have any questions about this particular app. Uh, tell me if you use it already. And until next time, keep rolling those 20s.